six of these guys claim that they're gay. But there's only one of them who's actually gay. Five of them are lying. I'm the real gay. I'm the real gay. I'm the real gay. Our task is to find out who is the real gay. Each round, we'll vote to eliminate a candidate. If our team can guess who the real gay is, we'll win and that candidate will win the prize. But if we guess incorrectly, the five candidates who are lying will go home with the prize. Who is the real gay? Once the channel Sunflo Awa reaches 2 million subscribers, we'll go on tour to meet all our fans across Thailand. Before we begin, we'd like to apologize in advance if we ask or say anything inappropriate. Please do let us know right away, as we're not experienced in this field, and today's game is purely for entertainment. We do apologize in advance if we've crossed any line. If you're ready, please can we have our six candidates, and we'll find out who's the real gay human. Just a gay person will do. Oh. A gay human. What? Who's the real gay? Oh, here they come. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I think the question is who's the straight guy here? They all look and act alike. Some of them are even wearing lipstick as if they're trying to trick us, yeah. Perhaps they don't normally wear makeup, but they're doing it for the show. There are five straight men, and there's only one gay man. Only one of them is gay. <laughs> okay, so let's begin with our number one. I'd like to ask everyone to introduce themselves, your name and where you're from. Let's start with number one. My name is Dong, and I'm currently 35 years old. I'm from Kon Can, and I work in graphic design. Graphic, I see. Ah, I see. Hi, my name is Off, and I'm currently 35 years old. I'm a southerner from Padalung, and I work as a hairdresser. Ah, hairdresser, okay. My name is Plume, and I'm 27 years old. I'm from Kon Can, and I'm an engineer. My name is Art, and I'm from Nong Kai. I'm currently a student at Thorakit Bandit University. What do you study? Marketing. 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 Marketing, uncommon. Hi, I'm Frank Akrade Nonoy. I'm 20 years old. I'm a student at Bangkok University. What do you study? Broadcasting. Can we have number six, please? Yes, I'm Om Charam Pat, and I'm 31. I'm a model. Oh, a model. Look at his arm muscles. Where are you from? I'm from Bangkok. Do you have a six pack? I have an eight pack. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> When he lifted up his stop to reveal those six packs? But that's less than what I have. I have one pack. <laughs> to me, Sharp is cooler. You want to know why? He has a one pack, and the good thing about that is if you're cold, he can give you warmth. If you're sleepy, he can be a pillow for you. He's such a multifunctional guy. One pack is the way to go. I think number five and number six are probably gay. But when I saw the other person's six packs, I've become certain that he's gay. I think number five and six are pretending. I think it should be either number one or two. So I've decided to focus on number two and ask him about his outfit. I'd like to ask number two about the necklace you're wearing. What's the meaning of it? It's for fashion. It doesn't have any meaning? No, it doesn't. Is this how you normally dress? That's right, this is my style. What's your favorite genre of music? I'm fine with all music, but I mostly listen to Thai music. Which genre of Thai music? Yeah, which genre of Thai music? Something like pop calorie ba ba. Shall we go by individual? Sure. Okay. What about you, number four? My favorite artist is Two Pop Torn. I'm in a Jeff Satur right now. Oh, Jeff Satter, the song that you're listening to. Yeah. I know I him don't know because him of at you. All. I don't know him either. Number three, what's your favorite song? I forget how to forget. I think mine is Proxy. What genre is that? It's pop. Similar to K-pop. Okay, ah, we just I see. don't know them. Yeah. And you number six? I like Pupong Sit. Hey, great taste. <laughs> That's the only one I know. My idol. <laughs> Always. Ah. ah. Okay, time is up for the first round. We have to eliminate one candidate by voting. I can start. The person who isn't gay is... Number three. That's I what I have three. in mind as well. I'm not sure why, but I choose number three. Okay, June. I vote for number three as well. I don't think he's gay. I vote the same. I choose number three. I agree because he's handsome, cool, and he, All he looks like- All of them are like, handsome. Yes, but this one's handsome, like how straight men are. It's quite obvious he's straight, but if we get this wrong, it's game <laughs> over. <laughs> to me, he has some feminine qualities, but he's still straight. He just looks rather delicate, yeah. Mmm. Ewa? There's no point when everyone votes no, the no, same. No, no, you still have to vote. You can vote differently, Ava. Use your vote. Go ahead, kiddo. Okay, I guess the person who isn't gay yeah. is number two. Number two, okay. 
Okay. However, four people vote for number three. So thank you so much, number three. Bye. Bye. After the first round, the person who I voted for was definitely straight in my opinion. I only chose number three because my sense told me he needed to leave. Now, the only person whom I'm quite certain that is not gay is number six. Although he's such a fit model and many gay people take good care of themselves, I don't think he's gay. He must be an actor. I'll be sure to question him further in the next round. I chose number three because he looks straight, but the person whom I think is gay is number five. So I choose to eliminate number three for now. But right now I'm guessing it might be number four. I mean, he's so feminine, it should be him. I haven't done anything. It's me, I'm the real gay. In round two, we have a special guest. They're an expert. In English, they're known as having gaydar. They can easily sense who is or isn't gay. And this person is an expert. He's got friends everywhere. So we invite him to analyze each individual for the second round. And whoever they pick will be eliminated right away without any voting. They will analyze these five candidates and choose one who isn't gay. For this round only, right? Yes, just for this That's round. That's so difficult yeah. though. So this expert can eliminate one candidate, but if they know who's gay, they can't tell us. Ah, they can only eliminate one person. They only have the right to eliminate one person, that's all. Please join us, yay. Welcome. Please, you can ask them anything. You can ask them to make eye contact with you or whatever. Actually, we need some help because straight men will have certain reactions to this. I'd like to invite Koi to join us. Whoa. Ah. We'll ask Koi to show us some sexy steps. Oh. Yeah. Please go one by one, okay. Okay, let's start with number one. Uh. <laughs> Turns out Koi is blushing. That's okay. Oh, number two. He can't stop smiling and staring. Not just looking, but like... <laughs> I don't think it's number two. Oh. Oh. Number five. Look at number five. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 He's wiping off his sweat. Oh, number five gave it away. Are you sure you don't like this? I can see your eagle eyes. I think both number five and six deliberately try to look down and look away to convince us that they're gay. But normally gay people don't act like they don't want to look at women. I think these two are unclear. I'm not sure, but I guess they're straight. I think number five is gay. Because of the way he looked at her, he clearly acted like he wasn't into women. I think number five is gay. Well, when Koi was showing us her steps, I think there was something odd about number four. Initially, he looked at her like how most men look at women, like he looked at her and got shy. After Koi walked away, though, he quickly turned away, wondering if he had given it away or if he was caught. But we have our eyes on you. All right. Thank you so much, Koi. Ha <laughs> ha. The person who stayed still the most is straight for sure. But I think there's already one person who's given me some signs. Beep, 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 beep. Another thing I'd like to ask is... Suppose you had a significant other and they didn't contact you for one whole day. What would you do and how would you feel? Let's start with number one, please. Uh, well, it depends on whether they're caught up with work or other tasks at the time. So I might just call them or wait, wait until the evening. I think you can only call them or wait for them to call you back. Ah, ah. If my partner disappeared, I'd call them up, and if I really couldn't get through, I'd call all of their friends. I'd definitely call to check with them. Ah, so you'd call to check with them. Okay, thank you. Next one, please. Similar to him, I'd call them up, and normally I'd have the location of their workplace. Ah. So you'd go to their workplace? Yes. Wait a minute, you'd turn up at their workplace, or? To ask their colleagues about them. You'd ask their colleagues about them first? Okay. Yes, that's right. Well, I'd call them up, but if they didn't pick up the call, I'd probably call their close friends, asking where they were and if they were okay because we were worried. I'd call them, and if they didn't pick up, 
I'd need to consider what they were doing. They could call me back when it was convenient for them, but if they were gone for a long time, I'd probably go look for them. So in this case, they didn't disappear because they died or anything, but it was suggestive that they might be cheating. So given these odd signs, how would you feel? I might try to check their social media or their IG story, or ask a friend whom they surely didn't know of to follow them and see what they were up to. It'd start from being distant from each other and going to the bathroom with their phone often and putting their phone face down. This could be their suspicious behavior. Hmm, so you'd need to track their suspicious behavior. Yeah, okay, next please, how would it be? How would you feel if your partner cheated on you and it seemed true? If I got cheated, it'd gradually dishearten me. Oh, you wouldn't fight for them? No, I wouldn't do that. I'm not that type. You wouldn't beg them. That's right. You'd just distance yourself. I'd probably do some digging to find out who that person was. I'd ask my friends to find out who that person was. So you'd become Sherlock Holmes. Correct. I see. Okay. Next, please. I'd break up with them. Just like that. Yes. They'd only have a second choice if the first choice wasn't good enough. If I wasn't good enough, I'd leave. Okay. We've got our answer. Ah. Do -do -do. Oh. If our expert eliminates the gay person. Game over. <laughs> At least it's not our fault. Please eliminate one person who isn't gay. Ah, the person who I'm certain of being straight is our last guy. Oh! Oh! Why is that? First off, he was so still when Koi approached him. He didn't make eye contact with her. I mean, he wasn't so still, but he seemed to give her some respect. But at the same time, he was secretly checking her out a bit. Ah. He looked rather masculine. Secondly, he chose to break up right away. I'd break up with them. Ha, ah, that's true. Actually, this kind of answer reflects his decisiveness. If you were not a straight man, what would you do? You'd say, go find out for me. Isn't that right, huh? There has to be some sort of feminine habits. Yeah. I can see you smiling. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you, number five. Well, some men would do the same. No, that's not Only true. Only gay people would do that? I'd crush them. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that right? Well, we kind of have an answer. I'm not going to tell you, but I've dropped some hints. And there were certain phrases that only gay people would recognize. Oh! oh I see. So thank you and goodbye, number six. Okay, yeah. bye, bye bye! Our expert called out our muscle man who's number six. If it was my choice, I'd have chosen him as well. He's definitely straight. Totally agreed. It's time for number six to go. This is good, so we can drill down on the rest. Despite my well-defined eight pack, it's me. I'm the real gay. Before going into round three, who do you have in mind at the moment? Give me one number. I can smell something fishy. From who? Either number one or number two. Hey, they're smiling. I think a lot of our audience might think number five is gay because he was the only one who looked straight down when Koi was dancing. He didn't even look at her. Personally, I don't think gay people get shy around dancing women. It seems to me that he was a straight man trying to act gay. So he thought that he couldn't look at a woman because he's gay. So he kept looking down like this. He didn't dare looking. Did you read too much into it? Maybe. Which one is it again? Number five. For me, I think it's either number four or five, right? Yeah, I think they are. They're the opposite. Yeah, what gives them away is the way they look around. See, they're not <laughs> <along. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now we know who it is. It's either number four or five, but I'm leaning towards number five. Ah. Uh. That's the opposite of what we I'm thinking. We have some disagreement here. We have here. some disagreement here. I think it's number five. Really? Yes, because he keeps looking at me. Ah. What? He looks at me in a sense you that- think you're hot? No, that's not it. <laughs> Watch it, Nate. Do you know why he's looking at me? He wants to see if I'm trying to find fault in him. Oh. Exactly. He keeps looking at me wondering if I know something. <laughs> it's number five. What about you, Awa? Who do you think is or isn't gay? For me, number five is definitely not gay. I think the person who's gay is trying to trick us. I think he's uh, deliberately dressing up in a masculine way to convince us. I don't know, but let me uh, guess. I think number one is gay. Uh, ah, she can sense something. Sense is telling you, is it? Okay, it's time to begin round three. In this round, every judge will prepare one question. You can do nothing more than this. You only have one question to ask the remaining four candidates, and we will go from this side, starting with Sharp. Ah. Go for it, Sharp. My question is, if you're not gay, how can you tell if a man is gay? Let's start with number five, who gets shy from staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's blushing. How do you know if a person is gay? I'd look at their behavior. Gay and straight men don't act the same way. 
Some gay men can look a bit more flamboyant. And when he's drinking, he might act more delicate. Oops, his hey. pinky is going. Look at the way he lifted his pinky just he now. He might be putting on a show. Don't believe everything you see. <laughs> For me, it's probably the way they talk. Their voice can be smoother. Can you show us how? But his voice is already smooth. That's true. His voice is so Let's have beautiful. Number two. I'll see from the way they look and their personality. Just like that, you can tell if they're gay by looking at them. I can tell just by looking at them. Really? Gay people have very precise eyes, you know. They can tell by just stare at him then. Cha! <laughs> is he gay? No, he's not. Ah. Uh, can you look at Ava? Ava is a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can answer this, even a blind person can tell. No, I wanted to see if the way you looked at men was different from the way you looked at women. Oh. Get up! Okay, number one. I'd probably look how they talk and carry themselves. Okay, what I want to know is what's your type for women? What kind of girls do you like? Please answer in details. Not mm. just cute, big eyes, fair skin, or pretty. I'd like to know their habits and what habits you do not like. Petite women are my type. I like women who are small and skinny. I like those who are easygoing, not making too much fuss about things. You don't like her to call and ask where you are? She can call as long as she's aware of my working hours and what I'm doing. There's no need to track me down. What a good reason. Because he's always because tracked he's down. Because he's always tracked down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. I'm not too fussy about how they look. They can be slim, but they should be confident. Oh, they should have high self-esteem. Exactly. What kind of habit is a turnoff for you? Habits like judging other people with their eyes or bullying others. I don't like this habit. I think he's straight. Ah, I see. Because how he talks and acts is rather masculine. It doesn't feel feminine. Yeah, but he looked gay when demonstrating that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you yeah. mean when he did that? Men <laughs> can't make those sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his smiling. I agree with name. Men don't do that. I have a lot of male relatives, and they do act like this when gossiping. I have six younger brothers whom I grew oh. up with, and they act like this when gossiping. Okay, next one. I like women who look like models. She should be tall. About my height is fine. And I like women who have good attitudes. She should have a good and positive mindset. Let me tell you, most men wouldn't say they wanted models. And another thing is, men don't like women who are their height. Yeah. Right? They mostly prefer shorter women. And what is his type? A model, he says. That's really tall, isn't it? Perhaps I like looking at women in beauty pageants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a man who likes to watch beauty pageants? Hey. He might be lying, though. True. My type? I don't think I have any. Do you see now? He's kind of a guy who... A quiet guy who's always like this. I don't have a type either. I'm fine with whoever I'm happy with. Well, yeah. But he's talking about women. He's like, I'm gay, I'm not interested in women, and I don't have a type. Do you get what I'm talking about? No way! Yeah? Don't forget that if he's gay, he can use various ways to trick us. Why would he say that he had no what? type? No, a gay person must be telling the truth. He can't lie. That means he's not gay. Oh, yeah. That's, That's what, what you I think? say. Your turn, Nate. Actually, I didn't prepare any question. The only question I can think of right now is, who's the handsomest among the three of us? <laughs> Let's start with number one. The first one. <laughs> Right, okay, let's go to number two. You're all handsome in different styles. You still have to choose one. I'll go with the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> first one? Why is that? Can you tell me why? He looks cool and edgy. Ah, <laughs> he's handsome. But you're so handsome. <laughs> number four, I choose sharp. Oh, why me? Your bare body's inviting. Hey. Oh. He he's, talks he's like a girl. Us. He talks like a girl. Men wouldn't talk about a bear-like body. It's like he he's talking to a though. friend and... We'll see in a bit. Number five, please. Actually, sharp. <laughs> you like exotic stuff. <laughs> ah, he looks charming. Yay. How come no one chooses Nate? Can I know why? How come no one chose him last time either? Well, you already chose him, Ava. That's why nobody wants uh, to steal him I'm a Caucasian guy. You. Is it to do with the fact that he's Caucasian? Of course it does. No, it's not about that. It's not about that. He's just not the type. Because you're sitting here. That's not relevant. I'm a girl and this is a game, so it's okay. No, we can't ask follow-up questions, kiddo. I already asked my question. It's your turn now, Nye. I just don't understand why no one chooses my boyfriend <laughs> since the last round. What's not good about him? <laughs> Angry, 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 he's so good and handsome. What's not to like? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, my question is, can you tell me what your favorite sport is? Let's start with number one. Badminton, volleyball, petong, badminton. Okay, go June. Do you apply a lot of skincare products before bed? 
How many, roughly, and what are their brands? Oh, uh, we're analyzing the brands now. Before I sleep, I apply facial cream and a body cream. And I put on a face mask before bed and a lip mask as well. That's a lot. That's a a lip mask, too? What brands do you use? There's quite a few, so I can't remember. Uh, that's okay. Next one, please. I only use one product by Dr. Pong. Right, oh. Dr. Pong. He knows the brand. I apply a facial serum before bed and some body lotion. Jergens or something like that. I use Eucerin for my face. Ooh, that's normal now. Because I have acne problems. Time's up for round three. It's time for us to vote and it's rather difficult. Can I go first? Go ahead. I vote for number four. Okay. Because he's confident enough to tee sharp. I think if he was gay, he wouldn't do it in case he got caught. But he was joking about his bear-like body. He was pretending to be gay. But he's That's straight. Right. So I vote for number four. I choose number four because for every question, he looked like he put a lot of effort into crafting his answers. He tended to look up a bit like this and thought hard on it. That's why I choose number four. I choose number four, yeah. just like Nate and Nye. I'm gonna go off stream and choose number two. Hmm, why number because two? Because he looks like my sister's boyfriend named Toe. <laughs> <laughs> They're so similar. He gives off the same vibe when chatting. Uh, this is exactly how Toe usually talks. That's why I feel like he's definitely straight. Hmm, what about you, Sharp? I think it's number four. He's trying to act gay. Agreed. I apologize if I guess incorrectly. <laughs> if I get this wrong, it means his acting is so believable. If you guess it wrongly, then he's just being who he is. Okay, then I choose number two. Huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, the majority votes for number four. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You made a mistake. The real gay is me. If you're ready, we'll begin our five minute session. I'll ask them to do a bit of exercise in order to see their reactions. Let's do some boxing. You're well prepared. Yeah, I am. Let me see you punch. Good, harder. Good, one, two, go. <laughs> Release the sound when you punch. Let me hear it. Let me hear it, one more. Is it number five? Why do I have a feeling that he's gay? Yeah. Woo. Hey. This is the one I want to see. Do you want me to practice with him? Sure, come oh, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Come, let me see you punch. Oh. <laughs> one more time. Ah, let me see it. One, two. One, two. Make some noise. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> let me so hear delayed. it. Come on. Uh. Make it sound like this. This. Uh, uh. Still the same. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> For me, Everything we did just now didn't reveal any information at all, but that's okay. It revealed some information, though. Yeah, I could see they're all similar. All of them seemed rather shy, but number two was most confident. He was hopping and smiling while others seemed to be holding back. Let me ask one final question. When you realized that you became gay... That you were gay. How did you feel? And did you face any challenges when you told your family and friends? When some of my friends found out... They tended to look down on me, especially men. I lost a lot of friends. How old were you at the time? I was in high school, around grade 9 or 10. What made you decide to come out? After consuming various films and music, I realized that there was no point in hiding in the closet. I might as well embrace myself, because my family didn't make a fuss about it either. Oh, your family's fine with it. That's right. When my friends found out, they distanced themselves from me, as if, as if they couldn't accept that I was gay. I realized I was gay when I was in junior high school, around grade eight or nine. Okay. I've known I was gay since I was a child. In the past, there was bullying against us. My friends who found out didn't put me in trouble, but they would make fun of me. What about your family? I haven't come around to have a serious talk with them. I haven't told them. Oh. Ooh. If he hasn't told his family, would he be so bold to be on the show and tell the whole country about it? But I have a gay friend. Number five's answer rings true. When he said it was around grade eight to nine? Yeah, and how his friends stayed away from him? It's true, I didn't distance myself from this person, but some friends did. But I personally think it's number one, since most people realize they were gay mm. since a young age. Because I met this friend when I was in grade nine. Some girls hit on him, and he told them to get lost because he wasn't into girls, so boys didn't want to be near him. Because he was the odd one out. Exactly, exactly. They didn't know what to do. Yeah, and it's similar to what number five said. Well, time is up. It's time for voting. I haven't got a clue. Well, let me go first this time. I vote for number one. I'm going to be different. This is based on his style, answer, and everything else. I think he's a straight man pretending to be gay. For me, I think number five is definitely straight. 
But he's tricking uh. us. He's deliberately put on makeup like foundation, blush, and lipstick. But I think he's a shy guy. And uh. for number two, I'm torn between number one and number two. I'm unsure who's gay. Yeah. Same here. I vote for number five, just like Awa. I don't think he's gay. I agree. I don't think he is. I choose number one since he said he hasn't told his family. What if his family sees this clip? What will they think? Or does he want to use the show as a chance to come out? So I think number one is straight. Sure. It's up to you now, June. Number one. He's the only one who's not wearing makeup today. Ah. Uh... And his answer sounds like a straight man's answer. Really? I think it's number five. Yeah, that's what I think. It's number five. What do you mean number five is gay? Wait a minute. Now we're fighting over number one or five. How come no one chooses to eliminate number two right away? <laughs> How come no one chooses to eliminate number yeah? two right away? Do you want to even though him? we're quite then torn. I changed my mind. I choose number two. It's because you chose him yeah. already. Fine, I vote to eliminate number two. Let's eliminate number okay, two. Fine, I'll go with because number two. Because he's as well. straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye, number two. <laughs> number two is confused. He thought he was out of it. It's because we're trying to choose uh, between these two. But I think number five is gay. Number five is straight. I think he's gay. <laughs> How do I not look gay? It's me. I'm the real gay. The final task is, these two have to convince us that they're straight or that they're gay. Because if they're not gay, they're such great actors. Do you get it? It's difficult uh. to convince someone entirely. You can talk, act, or do whatever within one minute. Do whatever to convince us that you're straight. Let's start with number five. I'm a straight guy. When I was young, I was good at football. I was a goalkeeper and a striker. And personally, I like watching action series. And when I was young, my favorite cartoons were, uh, superhero cartoons like Iron Man and all that. Oh, okay, that's good. Iron Man came out when we were young? No, it didn't. There we go. <laughs> Number one, please. I'm a straight guy. Well, uh, uh, when I was young, I had a group of male friends near where I lived and we'd ride a bicycle together. We'd play together, and when we'd, outside of Bangkok, we'd play rubber band shooting. That's about it. I'd play with friends. I hung out with friends or showered with friends. What a mellow answer. I'd say things like, I have a child and three wives. Do you believe me now? <laughs> okay, let's hear the opposite. Suppose you two are gay. Convince us. It can be anything. Your experiences, things you dislike, how people look at you, anything. Make us believe that you're gay. Let's start with number one this time. I'm gay. Well, I think being gay was very difficult in the olden days. You had to face challenges from your close and wider families or from friends or new societies. That was, you had to make a lot of efforts to fit into new societies. And when you met new friends or new colleagues or something like that, in the past, some places, might be like, perhaps we assumed that they didn't like us for being this way, or we had to act tough in order to fit into societies, something like that. And I felt that life was pretty hard in the past, something like that. But nowadays I feel quite fortunate. I think it's more open. You're allowed to be yourself more openly. So I feel that now you can enjoy being gay more. I'm okay. He gave lots of details. Number five, please. Being born in a modern world makes me realize that everyone has equal rights regardless of their genders. It doesn't matter if you're gay or a lady boy. We're all equal. In the past, these people had to face certain challenges. For instance, perhaps their family didn't know about it and they had a hard time trying to tell their family that they were gay. I used to date a girl when I was younger. I dated her and I was like, I dated her for a long time and I realized I didn't feel romantic towards her. And then I realized that I liked men. Uh. Oh, goodness. It's time to vote. Who is the real gay? The only thing in my head right now is that when number one answered, he often said something like that. And we've learned from our previous episodes that when one lies, one doesn't want to get into details and often says something like that. Yeah. But it's still, I'm still. But another thing is that number five dated a girl before. Exactly. But number one didn't touch on that at all. Yeah, this is difficult. I still think number five is straight. I'll trust my instinct. This is the most difficult identity guessing game ever. You can't tell or see anything. I vote number one is the real gay. I choose number five as the real gay. I choose number five as the real guy. Oh, Ewa? I stand firm and choose number one. 
I noticed from when he was boxing, he looked so masculine, but he punched like this. He seemed to have low self-confidence at times. Yeah. So I'm on your side. Come rain or come yeah. shine, I choose number one. Because number five looks like my relative named Uno, who is so polite. Ah. Drum roll. What do you say, Sharp? Be sure to choose wisely. I've set my eyes upon him since he walked in at the beginning. Yeah, he's number five. So. You don't trust me. I uh, trust my sense and my radar. Oh, uh, let's see whose gaydar is accurate. Uh, exactly. Or whose is more accurate? The, the whole team's gaydar is broken. Turns out he left a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it turns out he was the first to leave. <laughs> so let's find out. He can't be. Number five, are you, are you gay? I. I. I'm straight. Oh, I told you. Why didn't you tell you? me? I told you he's just like Uno. <laughs> oh, wait, we're not done yet. Let's have everyone back in. Now we have everyone back. We now know that number five isn't gay. Look at him smiling. Can I please ask one question? Did you deliberately put on makeup and lipstick to trick us? Uh, this is how I normally look. Oh, I see. He's fashion forward. Oh, I see. That's the only thing that confuses me. Okay. Can I ask the gay man to take one step forward, please? One, two, three. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> At least we kept him on till the last round. I told you! Of course they'd ask a manly looking guy to pretend to be gay. Yeah. It'd have been too easy to All let a right. gay man to act back. gay. Oh my oh. god! We almost got it. That was so good. <laughs> Did anyone lie during their self-introduction? Or did you all tell the truth? Did anyone lie? You're an actor, aren't you? I'm a model. A model, sorry. What about the rest of you? Those are your real occupations, right? Okay, so number one, everything that you said was true. Yes, it is. So you haven't told your family about it. This is it, this is what misled me. Uh, well, not exactly. We've never had a serious talk about it. But I think that my family and those who live with me are aware of it. But they never ask. No. Yeah, oh. yeah. This misled me because the show will be broadcast. Yeah. Ah. That's not surprising though. My mom didn't endorse my acting career, yet I secretly went for many ah, auditions. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so number one, for those of you watching this at home, for our male audience at home who feel something or don't know what to do, do you have any advice for those who are watching? Like I said in my answer, being gay nowadays is much easier than when I started out. I feel that you can live your life more openly you're more accepted in wider societies. I'd like to tell those who are watching at home or my family that if your children feel this way, it's not because they're sick or abnormal. That's who they are. I'd encourage you to accept them for who they are, for who they choose to be, because I think that what they choose is probably the best for them, as it'll stay with them for the rest of their life. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Massive thanks to our six candidates. Thank you. And thank you for watching My Mate Nate. If you like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels. My Mate Nate and Sunflow Awa so we can reach 2 million subscribers. Coach and I... You forgot it's my channel? What? Seriously? <laughs> social what? <laughs> ZBD, Mr. M, and all of our team's channels. And don't forget to tell us in the comments which identity you want us to guess in the next episode. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.